Hey guys, this is a simple tutorial on how to take all of your own measurements each month. So, uh, number one, we want consistency for time. So, when you weigh and measure yourself, make sure that it's at the same time each time that you do it. Generally, the easiest way to do this is when you first wake up in the morning before you eat something. Make sure you just remember whether you've been to the bathroom or not beforehand and make sure that's still the same as well. So, uh, number one, easiest one, all you need is a scale. You want to make sure that you don't have any shoes on. Uh, generally, you'll probably take your clothes off as well. Basically, just we want as close to your natural body weight as possible. Easy, first measurement, weigh yourself. From there, we're taking girths of the whole body. We're going to start with the arms. We're simply going to uh, go for the biceps. There are a couple of different measurements we can go for here. We're just gonna go for one of them. That is a contracted bicep girth. We're gonna do this for both arms. I'm just gonna show you on one arm. So all you wanna do is flex your bicep and find the highest point possible. All we are doing is taking a circumference in centimeters of that. All the circumferences we're doing today are in centimeters. So obviously for both sides. Number two is the chest. What we wanna do is get basically the widest point of your chest. For this one, we're gonna take two different measurements. We're gonna take a breath in and a breath out. So what I want you to do is take as deep a breath as you possibly can. Hold it and take that measurement. Then breathe as much air out as you possibly can. And take that measurement there as well. Next one, super easy. We are going around the stomach. Easy way to measure the same spot each time is just go to the top of your belly button and measure around there. Then exactly the same around the hips. We are taking the most protruding part of your ass. So basically where your ass sticks out the most, that's where you're taking the circumference from. Again, all in centimeters. Lastly, all you're gonna need is a chair or a relatively low bench, something like that. This is the mid thigh girth. So foot up on the chair of the leg you're measuring, taking the start of the measuring tape and putting straight into the crease of your hip where your upper thigh meets your upper body. All we're doing is measuring from that spot in the hip to the top of your kneecap, finding halfway of that point, and that's where we're going to take our girth. Again, you're gonna do this for both sides. The reason we're finding that midway point is so that we're always measuring the same spot on the leg. The only measurement you actually need to record though is the girth of the actual leg. Again, both sides and you're all good.